Hello guys, welcome to another video. Just gone 6 a.m. down at Victor Harbour, Granite Island as you know. So really easy launch from uh, Kent Reserve, so you can drive up onto the beach, unload your kayak, and then there's just some uh, car parks just over here. Um, so yeah, haven't been out here in a while. Um, looks like gonna be a pretty good day, low swell, low winds. Um, I'm going to head maybe to the other side of Granite Island and that other island over there. Um, come a little bit uh, more prepared than what I did last time I come out, um, which was uh, probably about a year ago. Um, know what to expect now, I know what's biting around. Um, let's see how we go as usual. Um, but yeah, beautiful day so far this morning. I woke up at about 4am. Uh, to get out here, uh, maiden voyage in the brand new 2023 Hobie Outback. Uh, I've got the, got the uh, armor kit, the sidekicks on it today because, uh, yeah, sometimes it can get pretty nasty out here. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll head out. I'll see you on the water soon. Thanks. Righty, we're out. Boys, a little bit, little bit choppier out here. But yeah, hopefully it's going to calm down. The wind's supposed to drop down a little bit. Um, it was a little bit cool this morning, hence I've got my jacket on. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to take that off after. It's supposed to be, or in Adelaide, forecast was about 27 here when I checked. Last night was only going to be 23 or 24, but that's still alright. Um, game plan. Really shallow, still in this area. Um, when I get a little bit deeper, I'll, I'll, I'll probably troll to an area. I, I have caught snook along here before. I want to see if I can get some squid for bait and even maybe on the other side of Granite Island um, hopefully put a live squid out I could be talking prematurely even if I get a squid um, but yeah that's that's what my game plan is so far and um, see whatever I can uh, get get hold of I've got, uh, I've got bait, I've got uh, soft plastics, I've got uh, hard body lures so I'm, hopefully I've prepared enough for everything um, we'll see how we go um, so far so good, good to be back on an outback um, and uh, yeah like I said it's a maiden made voyage you know it's like I've got the gear and no idea you know what the, that saying is like so hopefully I come home with a decent catch today righty on the double clutch so I've just pulled up a uh, Tommy and he is going to be excellent live bait sorry buddy so yeah, just a little, just a little Tommy. Excellent. All right, I'll get him uh, rigged up and uh, get over, get over there and send him off. pretty close uh, to this other island which is on the other side of Granite Island um, man it was a bit rough huge swells coming through um, and I noticed here this, this uh, like rock formation hanging out the water so I think I'm gonna try and anchor up I mean it's still gonna be pretty uncomfortable for a while I I don't have a sounder on this yet so um, you know trying to find structure and things like that I think uh, this is probably going to be my best bet. This uh, rocky outcrop hanging out of the water there. So if I can uh, get fairly close to that, um, some decent sized waves um, crashing over it. But um, yeah, it's definitely not the most comfortable. So hopefully it settles down a little bit. Um, anyway, right, I'll anchor up uh, fairly close to here, as close as uh, I can safely get and um, start rigging up. A little bit of action, a little sun trout. Now you inhaled that. And pretty quiet around that area. Feeling a bit sick actually out there as well, getting a bit seasick, so I know if that happens it's pretty rough. Um, so try and find somewhere a little bit sheltered. I might uh, check around here, around Granite Island, and even go the other side where hopefully it'll be a little bit more sheltered. But yeah, so far not much action as a, a, at all. Quite disappointing actually. 
Oh, I'll keep persisting. side of the island it was getting shocking out there but not much action at all oh matey finally hooked up to something what are you? Could be anything but a stupid race. What are you, man? Oh, and you look like a Trevally. Yeah, just a smaller Trevally. All right, at least a bit of action. Excellent. Very just small Trevally. Excellent. And that looks like that'll go in size. I'll measure it. But, um, alright, at least I'm not going home empty handed. Apart from anything else, a pretty nice uh, place to fish. Really different to the normal sea cliff Glenelg that I'd been going, so yeah, definitely a uh, change in scenery is good. Finally, another bit of action. get some more Wasn't on the menu. 
ini if you can see the teeth on them but uh, anyway thanks for the fight buddy back you guys Tommy's and did I just something just grabbed my gulp soft plastic maybe something grabbed my gulp soft plastic while I was fixing up that Tommy ever been out in. I see how much longer I can uh, handle it. It's not, not real good. Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Just launched at Semaphore today. Uh, just gone 6 a.m. We've got Serge and Lee in tow. Um, all, we've all got some crab nets. Heard the crabs are not too bad at the moment. Try for some squid and whatever else is biting. So uh, yeah, it's been a while since I went out. So I'm putting this video, I'll probably put it together with the one I went out at Victor Harbour. That was about three weeks ago. And uh, yeah, it's been about three weeks, like I said. Had you know, a few days off work here and there. And uh, yeah, just had some crap weather at the same time we had uh, had my days off. So yeah, now really uh, happy to be able to come out today. So far, conditions are excellent. I know as per usual, Adelaide Metro, the wind will come up uh, in the afternoon, but yeah, hope to be uh, out before that. Um, yeah, got, got three rods with me. Um, we'll see that first, a bit of squid. Um, yeah, and uh, see what else is biting. But yeah, just got my new sounder on today, uh, another Garmin. Um, test that out at the same time. 
I already see, I think I can see some dolphins or something out around the place as well. But uh, no, nah, really happy to, to come out so far. So that's good. I'm hoping that's a dolphin. <laughs> anyway, well, we shall see. All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me for another video. Let's see how we go. So we've got the three crab nets out, a couple of squid jags out. Now just a bit of waiting there. We're at high tide right now, so uh, tide sort of moving, starting to come out now, uh, moving back that way. Um, so all the squid jags are not dangling down, they're all at an angle. Um, I might have to spin around and sort of cast with it. A bit of action on the sounder, um, which sometimes you get anyway if you've got three fully loaded up crab crab nets you get a lot of pickers and everything coming around but yeah hopefully hook on to something soon i'll finish my coffee then i'll uh, pull up the crab nets for the first time there we go mate first catch of the day do you reckon i need to measure that, oh, what is that? <laughs> little tommy but emphasis on little Wow, smallest one I ever caught, ever. Wow, right mate, I'll put you back in a sec. Right, first pull of the crab nets. Been about half hour. And two in there, but definitely undersized. Size. You're on the size too. And the size as well. Okay. It's so easy to get tangled. Open something in here. Man, just full on weed. So I see this sort of stuff as well. I might go a little bit deeper and um, try and get a little bit more into that ribbon ribbon weed. Okay, previously this stuff that stuff's everywhere. Nothing in there. Come on. The weed again. Another crab in there. You see how much the current uh, must be pushing back through there. Ooh, nearly got me. Lucky I got my gloves on. Nearly got me. Yeah, it's another undersized ones. Um, as soon as I bring that. Uh, crab net up heaps on the sound they're lit up with uh, something following it heap of fish following it heap of arches um all right but probably small little tommies uh all right i'm gonna move and go out a little bit deeper i think the second pool there's so much weed around the place in the current um i might have a my first keeper in here so i've got three crabs A cute little thing. See you, mate. And hopefully this is this is my keeper. Hopefully. Yeah, first keeper. Excellent. So hopefully the first of many. Right, second net. I see a rock crab in there and possibly my second keeper. Let's hope. Or well, maybe not. No, you are undersized. And the, the difference in aggression between the blueies and the rock crabs is. Yeah, these. What's that, sorry? 
Yeah, don't you have a you got a crab uh, measurer? Yeah. Rock crab, see you later. Put that back out. Alright, one more net to check. So yeah, I'm going for getting a few crabs but just trying to find those ones in size. But definitely getting more around here. I was in about 4.2 meters of water and I've come to about 4.8 a little bit further out. And it's uh, yeah, definitely more crabs about. But uh, yeah, this one's looking undersized as well. I'll get this one back too. Yeah, well this is good. Got to, got to keep, keep a crab on my uh, whiting rig. Love it when that happens. A bit, a bit of a tangled mess. Oh, 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 that was close, that was close, that's close. And he was, he was hooked in the leg, he wasn't going anywhere. Okay. Third crab pull. Get this in. Whoa, looks like the biggest one yet. I just got a bit of a monster finally. Yeah, it lasts a decent one. He is going to be well and truly over by heaps. Yep, heaps. He's in by about a centimetre. Every time we're pulling the uh, squid jags up, um, there's uh, been weed on them. We're not going to catch any squid when that's happening. The current's still just ripping through. Little rock crab. Check the other one. If I'm not mistaken, it's feeling heavier. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. No, a bit. Not just under. And you are definitely under. And that one's going to be under too. All right, never mind. Got that big one anyway. I think I've got another keeper here. Hopefully. Good one again. And they get themselves tangled up in those nets sometimes. Yep, you are in again, my friend. Yeah, I can see something in there as well. Okay, three again. All under size. My move might be in order if I keep getting too many under size, so I'll just keep going in my net. And that's not good, that one got tangled up. Never gonna catch anything. Do a little bit of a move again if I've exhausted this area, um, and I don't don't want to get all those little ones I've just dumped back back in the net. All right, I'll move and see how we go. All right, come out a little bit deeper, and the crabs seem to be getting a little bit bigger. You know, this one here is probably undersized. That's just under size. 
but uh, all the all the nets I've been pulling up they just seem to be uh, a lot more bigger ones um, I think you're gonna go okay yep that's a good one that net back. right excellent so boys and girls getting some decent ones like that on the rod but low with the eggs so make sure you're putting those back guys and conditions conditions just turn this wind come absolutely out of nowhere um still getting some uh still getting some decent crabs like this this uh this boy here but I don't know if you can hear that wind and look at the uh, look at the waves and this happened within the last five minutes just come up out of nowhere so I'm reeling everything in don't need it to get any worse got to be safe um, swells not too bad but uh, yeah just the, uh, the the waves waves have started to come up now with the wind makes it uh, not real comfortable so I'll uh, pack everything up and head back in